Um, but um, to be honest, I haven't had much time to think about it. You know, um, big game on the weekend, and so I'm here with the boys and we trained yesterday and today, long session today. So we're uh, fully focused on this weekend. Is it nice to be away from them? Seems like there's a really good mood around this. Yeah, it's always it's always good to be uh, around the boys here, uh, the lads and the staff, uh, great lads. So yeah, it's always good to get away. These two friendlies and interim manager, uh, what's the best you could hope for out of it aside from just winning the um, I think as players, I think that's every game we go into. You want to win, do you know what I mean? So regardless of the managerial situation, you're playing for your country at the end of the day. So you need to you need to go in with that same mentality. Dan? Patrick, let me just ask what the last year has been like for you. We have the transfer speculation last summer on your, you know, your first move, I suppose, first big move, and then it's kind of not playing. Just maybe a different side of football. I don't know how you um, Yeah, obviously, uh, I wasn't playing as much as maybe I wanted to at the start of my Forest career, but there's a, there's a process to everything. and. Um, just in that time, I was just obviously working on myself, working on everything football-wise, and sweating on my opportunity. And I'm grateful, obviously, Nuno came in and gave me my opportunity. And uh, yeah. There was a lot of talk today in the land last summer. But was that ever something that was that was talked about or something that was likely, or was it just kind of something that happened as a result? Um, no, I think at that 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 point, it was just there was a lot of speculations and, and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyone want to ask a question? I'm going to ask you just um, when, when you were in the team, um, if you don't mind me saying so, you interpreted that role really well, that, that get, in the, get in the midfield. And, um, I'm sure you felt at that stage that you could nail one of those places down on Stevens' team. Um, then the injuries happened. How frustrating was that for you? Yeah, it was difficult. Uh, you know, I had the. Uh, I felt like it was. It, it came at not the best time for me because I felt like I was really kicking on. And um, but it happens, and uh, around that time was my first real kind of big injury that uh, kind of set me back. Um, but yeah, no, it, it makes you realise a lot of stuff that can happen happen in football, and and the ways you need to deal with, it. and then you learn a lot about yourself, you know, in those kind of tough times and that. So um, it was tough, but um, I'm just happy I'm back, and the injuries are behind me. Ashley, yeah, Andrew, how was training been with John, and what is the feeling amongst the group since John O'Shea has made into manager? It's been good. Obviously, uh, we know Shades very well here, and uh, but yeah, the the lads. It's been a good buzz around the place, and I think we're all excited just to um, get to the Viva on Saturday and see how the game goes. And do you think it helps that he has done it at such a high level, obviously for Ireland, Sunderland, Manchester United? Do you think that helps that he can relate to, to what all of you are going through? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, he's he's a legend. You know, so um, just to have him there, and for the looks of me on the centre back, so I know I can bounce. Off few things off him and stuff and yeah like you said he can relate to us because he's been there and done it. Kevin Kidd? Uh, hi Andrew, um, can you talk a little bit about the mental challenge of making a move to Forest and then just having to wait so long to break into the team? Sorry again, sorry. The mental challenge of, of making a move to Forest and then having to wait to get a proper opportunity in the team? Yeah again I think it's just it's similar to what I said with the injuries, There's a, like it's football you know. Um, I wanted to challenge myself. I know it's not it's not going to be a case where you, you move team and you're going to be first choice straight away. You need to you need to earn your spot and and I know that firsthand. Like everything I've got up to now, I've had to graph for it and I, and I'm, I know how that is and I know and I enjoy it to be honest with you. So um, yeah, it was it was challenging the first five six months, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now. And you have earned it now. What kind of things is Nuno asking you to do that you're obviously delivering on? Say again, sorry. What kind of things is Nuno asking you to do uh, to get into his team? Because obviously you have done that. Uh, no, I just think it's it's more just opportunities. Um, with Nuno, I think it's for me during that five six months. I'm not a player to, you know. Obviously, I can get frustrated, but when I'm coming into training every day, I'm just 100 percent at it. That well, I try to be anyways. Um, so yeah, no, I just think he's he's given me the opportunity and. Every time he does continue to hopefully, I'm just going to try my best to take it. Ed? Andrew, how are you? Just talking about those big performances you put in in the Ireland jersey, so, I mean, you're so new to the scene. How much did that build your confidence in terms of just knowing that you belong with that level and just in terms of helping, I suppose, even deal with the, the time out, out of teams at club level? 
Um, yeah, it's it's massive, you know. Th those kind of moments do get you through the injuries, if that makes sense, because you're kind of thinking back to uh, Davies of Portugal, the Serbia game and stuff like that, and it almost just pushes you along a bit more just to think back of the games that, like, like you said, the big games that you played and being around the lads and stuff. Just in terms of chat to Nathan there about relegation battles in the Premier League, being a defender in a team struggling in the Premier League really puts the emphasis on defending and focus, I imagine, on, on that side of the game. Is that something that has really um, improved, I suppose, because we're at Club like Forest, that it's so it's so uh, intense and, and, and you know that that's a, that's a your, of your game. Yeah, hundred percent. I think obviously with relegation or not. Regardless of what position you are in the Premier League, you're going to be tested defensively, you know, because the calibre of the league. So yeah, definitely, I feel like I'm, every each game I'm playing, I'm gaining more experience and and, and yeah, getting I'm playing against good players every week, you know. So uh, you kind of have to have to get better. So who's been your toughest opponent uh, in Premier League so far? Only Luis Diaz, maybe Liverpool. Luis Diaz. Liverpool is good. Yeah. So. Alright. Hey, hey Andrew. Um, just with all the injuries and the team, I know it's been a long time since they competitive with their own. Do you feel like you've got to make up for last time just in terms of how you first started with Ireland and the first time? Um. No, not, not necessarily make up for last time. I'm a big believer of everything happens for a reason, you know. Um, injuries and stuff like that is part of the game. Um, it's more of my mentality is more excited to get back in and hopefully uh, get to level and better than I was previous. Um, so yeah, that's the way I'm thinking right now. That's on the training sessions. Have you noticed the difference between this camp and previous camps? Um, to be honest, the lads are great every camp. We always have the, the same kind of mentality. The lads are always obviously buzzing to see each other um, since the last one. So yeah, no, training the last few days is good, good intensity, good quality. So. Um, well, we're just looking forward to Saturday. Aidan? Hey Andrew, uh, when John named the squad, he said he was conscious of having a balance at the back between the, the wing backs and full backs. Seamus, Matt, Robbie in particular had lots of experience because centre halves didn't have as much. Just to talk about that and because of the difficult season as well, you're all at the wrong end of the table. Just that, that experience of growing up on that stage and being spotlighted for the Premier League. The experience of having a boy here? Well, you're yourself, yourself and Aidan, you know that, that you're a full player of the spotlight in the Premier League. It's, it's a, Difficult stage to play Um Yeah, no, I think um, obviously me and Nathan, we have a lot of conversations, you know, we're from the same area and stuff, so I'd be talking to them regularly and it's it's more just, you know, the experience type of thing and, and trying to develop your game and we do we bounce and stuff off each other regarding games and um, like you said, uh, the relegation battle as well. So it's it's just literally all about experience and how quick you can how quick you can get it and how fast you can develop and adapt. I know there's a lot of focus on John Keely as manager, but the other people on the staff, again, different experiences. Paddy, long career in England, but didn't, didn't get caps playing, you know, 91 caps. Can you lean on them in terms of their experiences and, and what did you jam up then can teach you about how to get 91 caps in international football? Yeah, 100%. Um, like I said, I think you'd be uh, over the moon to get 91 caps for your country. It's amazing, isn't it? So, um, yeah, that's what I think is a good thing about the coaching staff now. There's a lot of people that you can. You can bounce off and they and they can relate to relate to you. Only John, just on that, Andrew, like Brian Kerr, um, you're only a baby, but you probably managed it around 20 years ago. I know during the days, but have you what have you made of his involvement, or have you been aware of much of him growing up? Yeah, definitely. I think if you're, you're playing football in Ireland, you, you know, you know what I mean. So it's just good to have him about. Um, and uh, yeah, just just his presence alone, I think it's, it's good lift for the boys to see him around the place and having conversations with him and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, it's been good so far. Thank you, everyone. Tomorrow is at Castle Knock, remember, please.